Well, hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, May 23rd, 2022, and there is quite a bit going on in Scentsy land, so I thought I'd jump on here and give you a little update on a few of our launches that started today. And then I'm also going to share my first impressions of the Bring Back My Bar uh, 25 retired scents that will launch on June 1st. So first of all, today we had the Father's Day collection launch. So there are five fragrances associated with that. There is My Dear Watson, Route 66, um, Business Casual, Vanilla Bourbon, and I'm going to have to peek here. Oh, the new one, Sandalwood Tangerine. So I'm kind of eager to smell that one. It sounds interesting. So we have those five fragrances. Then in Sandalwood Tangerine, we have Body Wash, Shave Cream, and Fragrance Mist for Dad, or whoever would like to enjoy that. And then we also have three fragrance oils. Those are in different fragrances. You can check on the website. All of this is live right now. And there's also a very charming little warmer in the shape of a, it looks like a combination smoker barbecue grill. And um, it, it's pretty cute. And I think that is it. I'm gonna look at my notes here. There are pods in a, at a minimum in the sandalwood tangerine. And I think that's it. So that's Father's Day collection. Then also today we launched a 30% um, unplugged sale. And I believe this one is just one week in duration or as supplies last. And this is um, certain unplugged items such, and these include scent circles, car bars, car bar clips, and scent packs. And there's none of these uh, in the licensed fragrances, it's all Scentsy Originals. So, but 30% off is a pretty good sale, so you might wanna go check that out. And also today we have two new buddies in the Looney Tunes line, which is the Tasmanian Devil. So you know I'm quite intrigued by that. And then we also have Martin the Martian. And in addition, we have 50% off some of the other Looney Tunes buddies, and that includes Bugs Bunny, Tweety Bird, and I think Daffy Duck. So you might wanna check those out. So I think that's it for those. And you will note helping me with this video today, we have, this is lovely the llama. She arrived with the Bring Back My Bar kit last night, and she is from the Glam Buddies collection. She's very, very soft. I wish her face were a little more expressive. She has kind of a bland expression, but maybe she's just a shy little girl. So we'll see how her character develops over time. Without further ado, the Bring Back My Bar first impressions. So, so a couple of these I have smelled in previous lives, you know, when before I was a consultant. Uh, most of these are new to me. So here we go. So I'm gonna take my glasses off because I can see better. Those are those are actually distance glasses. First up, we have French Toast. This is a tan wax. This is described as a light slice of bread, golden egg batter, powdered sugar, and a swirl of sweet maple syrup. So as you would expect. So I do have the scent notes here. I printed these out. And these are gonna be you know, my impressions. You may smell something different, and other people are certainly going to smell things things different from myself we all have a little bit different perception and our scent memories are different so to me this is very pleasant but it almost smells like caramel okay underneath i'm getting a little bit of that egginess eggy bread like you to get in an eggnog and a little bit of maple but honestly i'm getting a bit of caramel in that it's very pleasant Oh, it's a nice one. The proof is in the pudding. So this is just first impressions. When we warm these, things could change. So, but that's nice. Okay, buckleberry. And I don't know what a buckleberry is, do you? Oh, that's nice. That's kind of tart. So this is a purple wax, and the scent description is bursting fresh berries, a buttery blanket of crumbly coffee cake. So a buttery coffee cake and berries. All right. I can't say I'm getting any bakery note at all, but it's a nice tart berry and I like that. And it's different from other berries. I can't say I've smelled that particular one before. So that was buckleberry. Next up we have summer rain. Summer rain is described as, and this is sort of a 
cornflower blue. Summer is dew sprinkled cyclamen, fresh botanicals, and a pinch of black lava salt. So floral, green, and salt. That's well, nice. You get a green note. Not much floral to me. And yes, I would say a little salty, but not like salty sea air. It's not that heavy. It's like a slightly salty green note so far. And we'll have to see if the, if the floral notes come out more on more. But I like that one. That's Summer Rain. Next up we have Coconut Vanilla Orchid, which is a lilac colored wax. And this one is described as orange zest, coconut milk, and silky vanilla orchid. Orange zest, floral, and what was the middle note? Vanilla? Coconut milk. Coconut milk. Orange zest, coconut milk. Ooh, you do get the orange zest. That's very pleasant. So I would say yes, get orange zest. I can't say I'm really getting a lot of coconut, but it's pleasant. You certainly get that orange or and cyclamen. All I'm really getting right now is orange zest, but it's pleasant. It is slightly sweet, so I guess that would be coming from the vanilla, and that's coconut vanilla orchid. Not heavy floral, but again, can change on warmth. Next up, we have Cutie Pie Cupcake, and this is from last year's summer releases, I believe. So I have smelled this one before. You know, this is very fruit, fruit loopian to me. And you do get a kind of buttery bakery, but it's very much Fruit Loops. Whereas Clementine Cupcake, which I prefer, is more of a rich orange and a more, a more buttery, more of a pronounced bakery note. But this is nice. It's a Fruit Loopian bakery. Next, we have Bamboo Yuzu. I've been looking forward to this one. Nice green wax. This is Dewy Bamboo Tranquil Lotus Flower and Fresh Yuzu with Hints of Sage. Okay. So yuzu, I only know from yuzu and sea salt in vendor wax, and um, yuzu is also found in the anthropology scent, the Capri Blue Volcano. Oh, it's very nice. Mm. So you certainly get the greenery, the bamboo. There is a little bit of sage in there. A little bit of sage. I can't say I'm really getting that yuzu. But it's sweeter than other bamboo fragrances. This is very nice. I like that. So that's bamboo yuzu. All right, next up we have Enchanted Mist. And this is kind of a cream color. Enchanted Mist is described as juicy apple, rose petal, and rich jasmine. Rose, jasmine, and apple. Certainly getting the apple. So it's almost like an apple that's on the verge of going to ripe. A little bit of rose. A little bit of rose. I can't really say I'm getting the jasmine and a very ripe apple like on the edge. You know, the edge of not being good anymore. But we'll see what happens on warm. And that's Enchanted Mist. Next up, I have smelled this before. This is lemon, un, lemon, un, <laughs> lemon coconut chiffon. Lemon coconut chiffon. I have smelled this before. It is a light yellow wax. This was gifted to me in friend mail maybe two years ago before I was a consultant. This is lemon custard, butter cake, and toasted coconut. Okay, you know, I wasn't real crazy about this before, to be honest. Yeah, it's a bit of a cleaner lemon for me. And that's about all I'm getting at this point. Maybe there is some coconut. Yeah, I, I have to melt that one again. But to me, the lemon is a bit of a cleaner quality. So not my favorite lemon. But, you know, you may, you may get something entirely different. Okay, Love and Happiness. This is a pink wax. Love and Happiness is described. It's a very pretty. This is glazed chestnut. Vanilla and sugar cane. Ooh, I love chestnut scents. Hmm. It's nice. I, I can't say I'm smelling chestnut. Okay, hold on a second. No, all I'm really getting is like a sweet, 
a sweetness. It's a bit woody. So, okay, I guess that's your chestnuts, but you know, that chestnut is a very distinctive, um, earthy scent. Okay, we're gonna have to warm that one. It, there is a sweetness to it. Oh, I'm, I'm hopeful for this one because I love chestnut scents. Okay, next up we have Simply Irresistible, which is a green wax. Simply Irresistible is described as lavender, woody background, amber, moss, and musk. So lavender and wood, and then all those perfumey notes. Well, how about that? That's more of a sweet lavender, I would say. Okay, I'm not really getting all that amber, which is fine with me. Okay, lav a sweeter lavender and a woody background. Interesting. I like this. It's a sweeter lavender than I would have anticipated, and I'm not getting all of that uh, amber. So, thumbs up. Okay, inner peace. And that, that last one was simply irresistible. This one is inner peace, which is a white wax. And this is described as, inner peace, where are you? Okay, earthy wood notes with the unmistakable scent of lemon groves and rejuvenating cypress. Wood, lemon, and cypress. I love cypress. That's a little bit sweeter, earthy wood. It's a very nice lemon, but that's really all I'm getting. It's a very pleasant lemon, very fresh lemon. And right now that's it. So I hope we do get cypress. There's a beautiful cypress candle from Diptyque, but I'm not getting that at all. So far this is just lemon. That's inner peace. Fingers crossed that the cypress will come out on warm. Blueberry pancakes. So here we go. This seems to be a fan favorite. Okay, blueberry pancakes, uh, blueberry and butter accord over light maple. So. Blueberry, butter, and maple. They're not saying anything out of bakery note there. That smells almost more like caramel to me. Ah, okay, there's some blueberry on the bottom. Okay, I'm not getting any bakery at all. It doesn't describe bakery, so fair enough. So to me, it smells like blueberry and caramel. It's nice. It doesn't, it's not the kind of caramel like from Carnival Treats that knocks you over the head. Um, it's very very pleasant. I'm not a real big maple fan, but I can't, it smells more like caramel to me. That was blueberry pancakes. Next up, blackberry orange marmalade. I have been looking forward to this one. Kind of a dusty purple color. This one is described as orange marmalade, blackberry jam, and sugar crystals. So, blackberry and orange marmalade. Ooh, now that one is nice to me. On the tart side, I'm not getting so much orange, but it does have a citrus note. Very nice. I like that a lot. It's um, it's tangy, very tangy. So that's blueberry, oh, excuse me, blackberry orange marmalade. Next up is cotton candy cookie. There's been a lot of enthusiasm over this one. It is a light lilac color. This is described as cotton candy cookies, and sugared raspberry. Okay, and I've heard this is light. Yeah, I mean, it's getting cotton candy. This is in the girly category. And forgive me, because I don't like assigning those, you know, necessary genders to fragrance, because who's to say? We all like different things, right? But... Okay, so you do get cotton candy and raspberry. Can't say I'm getting a lot of cookie, and it does seem light, but we'll see on one. So that's cotton candy cookie. All right, Zeppelin. Zeppelin is a kind of a silver-colored wax, and this one it smells woody. On Okay, we have uh, citrus, green sage, herbaceous vetiver, and earthy sandalwood, so the vetiver leaves citrus, sage, and sandalwood. Citrus and green. Yeah, I'm getting the sandalwood. Okay, I'll buy that. That's, you know, I think the description is, is accurate. So you do have a citrus note. There is a sage. Not 
overly sandalwood. Herbaceous vetiver. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Vetiver. So that's that's a grass. It's nice. I like this one. It's green and, and the sage is yeah, you can you get the sage. So that's Zeppelin. Yeah, I like, kind of like that one. Next up we have Flower Child. Flower Child is a pink wax described as berries, gardenia, and sandalwood. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Again, not sandalwood heavy. I'm getting mainly berries right off the bat. Yes, and a white floral. So I guess that's the gardenia, but it's not real sharp. That's nice. It's different. Okay, so berries and gardenia. Yeah, I like that one. That's flower child. All right. Next we have oh, pineapple, coconut, vanilla. This is also a lilac colored wax. Pineapple, coconut, vanilla is described as coconut, pineapple blush. What is pineapple blush? And blue fig. Coconut, pineapple blush, and blue fig. Oh, this is fig, folks. Oh, it's beautiful. It's not as um, earthy as midnight fig. But this is beautiful and pr primarily fig. I'm not getting any pineapple, but it says pineapple blush. So I don't know if that's, what is that? This is beautiful. Oh, I really, really like that. So that's, a, if you like fig, you're going to be happy with this. I wouldn't, I can't say I'm getting any coconut or pineapple, but okay. Sometimes the names, you know. All right, I, but that one's a big fan. I'm a big fan of that one. Okay, next we have, how are we doing on time? I'm going to peer at the camera here. 17, okay, I should probably pick it up a tad. Caramel Vanilla Delight. This is kind of a, what is that? Tan wax, orangish tan. Okay, this is uh, described as vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, and a splash of white rum. Okay. You know, for a caramel fragrance, that's I like it better than many of the others. I don't like really gooey, sticky carnival treats caramel. That's nice. I like the caramel. It's creamy. I can't say I'm really getting any rum on cold, but that's pleasant. It's not in your face gooey caramel. Next up, my only sunshine. This is a light yellow wax. My only sunshine is described as golden tuberose and jasmine balanced by sandalwood, vanilla, and amber. So tuberose and jasmine and then all the perfumey things. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. It is very like a light floral. That's really pretty. That's a beautiful fragrance. So white floral. It is not a strong or biting floral in any way. It's very gentle. It's very nice. I like that. That's my only sunshine. Very, very pretty. Next up we have Forever Yours, which is a lilac colored wax. There are a few of those. This one is described as Forever Yours is sweet, creamy, lemon, and enchanting jasmine. Lemon and jasmine. Okay. Yes, I would say that's an accurate description. You have a floral and a lemon. Oh, I like that. That's very pretty. Yes, I would say equal parts jasmine and, and lemon. Fresh lemon. That's not a cleaner lemon. I like that very much. Next we have, I keep looking at the scent notes before I grab the thing, Berry of Paradise. So among my customers, this one is, um, there's a lot of curiosity on this one. So it is a pink wax, and it is described as Sugared strawberry, bird of paradise, which is a floral, and vanilla bean. Sugared strawberry, so like a creamy strawberry, and a floral. Mm, it's nice. It's um, it is a creamy strawberry. It doesn't smell like chapstick to me. This is like a true strawberry, sugared, creamy. I can't say I'm getting a floral note. 
but we'll see on warm. It's a very nice strawberry. It is a light creamy um, fragrance. It's a nice strawberry. It's not, it, again, it's not like a lollipop strawberry. It's more like a fresh strawberry that has been steeped in sugar. I guess that's macerated. Macerated just sounds so violent. It's such a violent sounding word. Okay, then we have Very Peri Pumpkin. And this one seems to be polarizing. I've heard people on both sides there. Okay, Earthy Savory Pumpkin, Tart Green Apple, Sweet Nashi Pear. Nashi pear is the pear that's like an apple and pear combined. Um, we had them in Japan. And toasty roasted spices. Pumpkin, apple, pear, and spices. Sounds like a fall fragrance. Okay. I'm just not sure what I'm smelling here. I mean, there's a sweet note. A little bit of pumpkin, but I'm not, I just am not sure about that one. It smells kind of like a raw pumpkin and a little bit of sweetness. So we'll see what happens on warm. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I don't love that one. Okay, love you very much. This is a purple wax and it is described as red berries, white peach, tart cranberry, and vanilla. Berries, peach, cranberry. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. This is kind of a classic dark um, fruit. The cranberry is noteworthy, and it's it's very nice because it, it keeps it from being too sweet. Not getting peach per se. This is really nice. Berries, peach, cranberry, and a little and some vanilla. That's very nice. I like that a lot. Love you very much. It was. Okay, next up, two to go. Blonde wood and moonflower. And this one is pale warm wood and amber, uh, moonflower, white roses, and upturned lilies. So white floral, wood, and amber. Okay. Oh, it's nice. I like the wood. It's kind of a biting wood. And, and there is a floral note. That's nice. I have to see what that does on warm, but I like the, I like the wood in it. All right, and one to go. We oh root beer float. I've been eager to smell this. Okay, root beer float. So I'll just say I have two favorite root beer floats. It's Homeworks root beer float candle and Destination Wax root beer float in wax. Both because the creamy ice cream is right there with that very pungent root beer syrup. So let's see what we have here. And this is described as root beer and vanilla ice cream because I was peeking. Root beer and vanilla ice cream. So far, I really like it, Uncle, because I am getting that vanilla ice cream. That's a strong root beer. Okay, we'll have to see on warm. I hope there's enough vanilla ice cream to balance that out. But I like that one. So favorites for me, quickly. Root beer float, forever yours, flower child, zeppelin, love you very much. My Only Sunshine, and Blackberry Orange Marmalade, ah, and Bamboo Yuzu. So those were my favorites. So there's quite a few. Actually, I liked quite a few of those. I don't hate any of them. Um, I would say I'm a bit concerned about that very peri pumpkin, but we'll see. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to do warm reviews of these ongoing. So thank you. Take care and hug your families. Bye for now.